Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums, as I counting up the steers. And today, chums, for you guys out there in the view of us, I'm going to be showing you how to find yourself an Atlas multi tool. They're really quite awesome. I feel like one of the newest multi tools in game. So, you want to go and see your cartography maps guy, and you want to be getting yourself some cartography maps. But what ones? I hear you cry. Well, if you go to exchange for specific charts, the one that you want is the purple one, the planet chart, and that's going to help you find monoliths. Now, the only monoliths that give you the Atlas multi tool are found in Corvax systems. Okay, so let's go and find a Corvax system. Now, the funny thing is with the Corvax systems having these multi tools is the Void Mother has brought back Void Echoes from old Corvax type shells when it used to be Corvax Prime in the way of the Autophage. And they've got a rather sinister purple glow to the actual monoliths now. So anyway, let's find the Corvax system. This is a Corvax system that I'm actually in right now, but I'm going to show you how to find another one. So the filter at the top of the screen, you want to put that to life form. And any of the teal colored ones are going to be Corvax systems. So we're going to be jumping there lovely jubbly oh and it's got to be a dissonance system i believe so i i think it's got to have dissonance in the system we'll try this let's just see if it works on any corvax system shall we i haven't tried this it might work it might not I, but i think it's got to be dissonant and corvax but we'll see or at least have a distant syst uh, planet inside the system Okay, so let's have a look. See, let's go and find ourselves a monolith. Now, I have got 10 charts here, so let's use these. Alien artifact, that's not what we want. It needs to actually say a monolith. So just keep going. There we go, monolith detected. And I think that one's it right there. Let's go down there. Let's have a look. See, let's go see if this works in any old Corvac system. The first one I picked up was in a dissonant system, and I feel fairly certain that the quest that I found it on was also on a dissonant world. So let's have a look. Now, I mean, at least this rules out if it works on any Corvac system, I suppose, doesn't it? Oh, wow, we've got one of these black and white planets to deal with. Are we not going to see the lovely purpleness of this then? Now I mentioned to you earlier, hopefully you open the multi tool in another window. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, it's there. It does work in any callback system. Holy fudge, I heard a giant worm. There's a giant worm somewhere. Anyway. Let's go pick up this scent. Interact. You just got to slather some Atlantium on it. So it does help if you're in a dissonant system, because that's where you get Atlantium. Interact with it a second time, and you should be given this, a choice of a multi-tool. Now that one's quite nice. I'm not like a super fan of that one. It's all right. Uh, I think I'd rather shop around a bit longer, to be honest. Mm, it's growing on me the more I look at it, but no. Okay, well, if you do want this one or one like it, because it's, it's very rarely the same, even in the same system. It's a bit hard to hunt these. But there you go. There's the coordinates there if you want to come here. I'm going to jump to another Corvax system and see if I can find one that I like a little bit more. Let's take it to the skies and let's go. I guess I might just pop into another station and invest in a few more charts. Okay, so I'm just going to buy a load of new charts. There we go. Loads of them now. Endless supply, even. Okay. Cool. Well, let's see if I can pop another one of those in. It's giving me some sort of weird mission at the bottom right now. I don't know why it's giving me that one. Yeah. Inspect the monolith. I don't know why it's telling me to do that as a mission now. Okay, here we go then. Let's, let's try again. Let's find another monolith. Ancient monolith, first time. Lovely. Let's hold them down and take a look, see. Zoom! We're on our way. Okay. Oh, it's like there's some sort of other structure nearby. What's that? I think it's just a minor settlement. Yeah. Just unusual. Okay, let's head on down to this monolith then. Let's have a look, see. 
Come on, be something groove. You know what? No matter what the multi tool is at this one, I might just grab it. At least now you're going to see the purple glow. There you go. That's better, and now it's not a black and white planet. Chicka pow! Chicka boom! Chicka pow pow! Okay. Come on, I'm hoping to get a black one with red on it. Oh, it's black with blue. I would prefer to have black with red, but you know, I can always swap this out in my own time. I can find a better one. There you go, let's just accept that one for now. Oh, good. I can buy it for 539 nanites. There we go. Done. Now let's interact with this. The monolith resonates as Atlantium seeps within its core. A voice, impossibly old, impossibly low, is magnified as the stone vibrates. The feeling is overwhelming. My eyes begin to swim. <laughs> Her core was destroyed, an explosion in the water. None of us could escape the pain. I blink to clear my vision. As my eyes reopen, I find myself afloat in a waveless purple sea. The sky glows, the voice has become a chant, its words filling the air around me. Swim, I guess. In the distance, walls of crystal erupt from the depths. Fountains of lilac-tinted water sparkle into the light. Crystal foam arcing through the air as the sea is displaced. One by one, mile-high spires are thrown from the core. It is beautiful! One by one, these cliffs begin to close on in on me. And then I realise I turn and begin to swim. But they're coming for me. I feel the bubbles surround me. The water beneath me vibrates and I feel myself starting to sink. I hear the roar of the crystal races through the sea. Okay. I, at the moment the crystal walls overtake my body, I'm released. It is done. I'm wondering whether this is a hint of something coming from the depths of the ocean in a future update, people. Hey, yes. What the flying fudge? What was that? This thing's gone mental again. I don't know why. All right. I think we're good. Yep, done everything there. Okay, let's just take off, because it's quite noisy there. Let's see what this mission is all about, shall we? Alright, let's go back to where we've been summoned, and let's see what this mission is all about. Wasn't planning to do that, this episode. I was just going to show you how to get the multi-tools, but it looks like we've triggered a mission somehow from this that I don't remember. Interesting day. Yeah, well, we're heading to the planet, and we're heading to the infused monolith plinth, that I infused earlier, so this should be that black and white world that I was on. How bizarre that it's sending me back here for secondary whatever whatevers. Come on, accelerate down. Actually, this, is, this isn't looking very black and white. Oh, yes it is. Now it is. I changed my mind. Okay, cool. Let's land there then. Where is it? Don't know. What the flying fudge is going on? Let's just check this again. Yeah, it's still the same one. Alright. Okay, it's pointing me here. The Atlantean floods through the monolith. Images flood into my head, seizing my hand as their own. I find myself floating across the surface of the world. I see it all. Every rock, every tree, every creature. They are safe. I am safe. Some shells still feel their sentinel ancestors. Look through the red eyes. Feel their despair. Then I feel it. A pain, sharp, deep, piercing. My visions flash red. I am hurled around and I see my tormentor. A vandal thoughtlessly vaporising the materials that have surrounded them. Each atom, they claim, rips at the fibres of my being. Destroy the vandal? I open fire, the invader falls where they stand. The vision fades, only for their stolen harvest remains. Okay. we got something of the interpage. Re-examine the... Okay. All right. I don't think it's going to do anything different, to be fair. 
Yeah, it's the same thing. Alright. Oh no. We don't want to be here for a storm, do we? Alright, well... Oh, that mission has now vanished. It's gone. So I think that's it. Just a couple of snippets of lore is all we got, people. But there we go. That's how you can get Atlas Multi-Tools. I need to get a, a screenshot, really, from my old um, thumbnail, don't I? So let's, uh, let's just put that one up on the screen. That'll do. Um, let's get it turned side on. I think like that, maybe? Yeah. And if I press that button... There we go. I got a screenshot and another one, just in case. All right, cool. Oh, I need to look amazed, don't I, for my screenshot. That's better. Right, okay. Thumbnail done. And I think that's probably about it. I didn't give you the coordinates for the other blue one, did I? But to be fair, I'm not really rating it anyhow. I'll probably swap it for another one at some point. I want to find a black and red one. The hunt continues for me. All right, people. Well, that's that's pretty much that then. Let's get away from that because making a heck of a lot of noise. I'll just run over yonder hill, calling my ship. I think. But yeah, I think that do for today's episode. That's that's how you can find yourself a um, Atlant, well, an Atlas or Atlantean multi tool, whatever you want to call it. Because it's all purple, I kind of think they might be Atlanted, you know, rather than Atlas. But I could be wrong. And I'm wondering whether the look of this technology might give us an indication of what a new race might look like. I'm thinking they're going to be sort of like semi-aquatic, biological, with maybe some technology enhancements. Almost like, an, you know, like the stories of Atlantis, where they're super advanced. I'm thinking like that. That's what I'm thinking. And also, you know, like the royal multitools that we get in Sentinel places and also the exotic ships. I think their armor is going to look more like that. And we've already got an exotic sort of jetpack. I think they're going to have that sort of sort of technology. I think they're going to have advanced looking gear. That's what I reckon. Yeah. Anyway, that's, that's all I've got for you. Till next time. Goodbye, goodbye and goodbye again.